an item in the April 12, 1907 Lenexa News encouraged every man, woman, and child in Lenexa to think about making their small town an incorporated city. The article said that they should consider that this would mean sidewalks, lighted streets, fire protection, clean streets and alleys, and of course, taxes. Apparently, the good people of Lenexa voted to incorporate because on May 8th, 1907, less than a month later, Lenexa did indeed become a city. The first mayor was E.M. Schweitzer, and five city council members were elected to serve alongside him. The first city council meeting was held June 10th, and it was decided that the elected officials should be fined if they missed a meeting unless they had a good reason. 100 years later, in May of 2007, a nine-day citywide celebration was held to mark the centennial birthday of that incorporation. The two-year planning process, chaired by Lenex and Craig Denny and produced by nearly 400 volunteers, planned events throughout the whole city. The centennial celebration was meant to strengthen the bond of a city that had grown 12 miles east and west and five miles north and south. Those events held at various sites included a huge talent show, the Fort Riley Jazz Band, a street fair complete with a Ferris wheel carnival, an ecumenical camp meeting, a school choir concert, an art show, an international fair, an ice cream social, a pancake breakfast, and a skateboard clinic. A little bit of something for everyone. During one report, Centennial Chairman Denny noted that sponsorships totaled $71,000, well above the $45,000 which the Lenexa governing body had pledged to match. Based on that 2007 celebration and the community support it gathered, I think those 1907 leaders would be very proud of our incorporated city. <laughs>